the livest cloud radio show on the planet, eBlock Radio. Yo, what up, though? You know what time it is, man. It's time for the live and cloud radio show on the planet, man. Straight from the E-Block Radio is live on your dial right this moment. You got 60 minutes to ride the block with the live and crew on cloud radio, the live and hot topics, and the live and independent music fine anywhere. You know what it is, man. The live and cloud radio show on the planet. Straight from the E-Block Radio. It's your boy, the hood Howard Stern, Q. Lewis. Got my man Monk Money holding it down. From my block to your block and every block across the nation. Let's get it. The livest cloud radio show on the planet. E-Block Radio. Yo, 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 you know what it is, man. The live is cloud radio show on the planet, man. Straight from the E-Block Radio, live on your dial, 7 p.m. until 8 p.m., man. It's your boy, the hood, Howard Stern, Q. Lewis. Got my man, Monk Money, holding it down. What up, boy? What it do? Man, you know it don't do shit until we get on the air, bruh. <laughs> and you know this, man. <laughs> and you know this, man. Hey, so it's been a it's been a long week since last week, man. So you know we didn't did a did a few things, a couple things, and happened since last week. So we go we go kick it on that in a minute. But also don't forget, man, if you got social media, you got to hit us up on Instagram and Twitter. I right? hit up my man Real Monk Money, and of course myself, Hood Howard Stern. Don't forget to check out straight from the E Block Radio on Facebook and become our fans. Or right? hit the like button there. So you can keep up with all the updates right there on Facebook too, because we everywhere. Yeah. I'm in these streets. <laughs> in these streets, uh, hey, right, so look, yeah. it's, it's been a it's been a long week, dog. I don't know about you. It's been a long week for me, though. But what's been yeah. moving with you, bro? No, it's been a long week. Uh, I've been working this two job thing, bro. I've been trying to do that two job shouting. <laughs> man, dog, man, you know what I'm saying? I don't mind doing it, you know. My body just ain't used to it yet, dog. Yeah, it's got that's something you gotta get used to, bro. Dog, seriously, like soaking them in acid. I don't think that shit gonna work, bro. <laughs> For real, so I've got to give. Yeah, but um, it's gonna work though. I ain't really. I can't really say I've been doing really too much. You know what I'm saying? Just excited for Christmas to come, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Sorry for Santa Claus to come with my baby boy, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Other than that, your boy been keeping it low to the ground like an ant, like I always do, you know? Right. I, I saw your shit last week on me and Coco J uh, show. I was like, she asked me what I've been up to. I said, I pulled your line. <laughs> you said low to the ground like that? Hell yeah. Even though it's, <laughs> it's okay. It's low to the ground, though. It's okay. It's a lot of people use my lines, you know what I'm saying? I ain't mad at it, you know what I'm saying? I'm just glad I influenced you. Right, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing wrong with no influence. <laughs> no, no, ain't nothing wrong with it at all, dogs. Hey, so you busting, you busting them two clocks, bro. You ain't got time for Netflix, huh? Oh, bro, but I have been trying to been get this show, The Viking, bro. I'm I'm strung out, bro. You still on that shit, huh? Man, I'm strung out, bro. Every chance I get, I can try to watch one episode, you feel me? Yeah. I, yeah, I still haven't got up on it yet, though. No, I've been trying to watch it, bro. That's all. I don't think it's on Netflix. But it's definitely on Hulu. Yeah. Yeah, but I'm watching it on demand, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Three seasons. Got to check it out, though. Live, bro. I think I could have been a Viking back in the day, bro. I should have been a Viking. I should have been a Viking, dog. I I don't know how that was going to work in, in the 1980s. <laughs> I'm saying <laughs> Like, I think in my past time, bro, I was a Viking. <laughs> I was say, man. You know what? It's too much television for you, man. I'm too tired. I'm too delirious, bro. I'm yeah. <laughs> too delirious, bro. I'm needing to. I'm needing to <laughs> no, bro. I'm serious, bro. I'm a savage, bro. I'm a savage out here in these streets, bro. I could have been a Viking, bro. The savage. Savage. <laughs> Hey, I seen a. Uh, I had peeped. Uh, I had peeped on your. I think it was Instagram or Facebook that you went to the show. What What'd you say, little dog, to go see? Oh, yeah, man. Uh, I did do that. Damn, I don't even know why I mentioned that. Um, we went to go see the Good Dinosaur. Yeah. 
dope movie, man. Dope movie, man. But my little man, bro, I don't guess I don't guess he ain't in advance for the movie yet. You know what I'm saying? Cool. Five that, five minutes in the movie, cause like uh, there it's time to go yet. What? Yeah. He ain't like it. Uh... I just spent twenty one dollars, cause you gonna sit down here and watch this movie, popcorn and drinks, and you know what I'm saying? So we right. get in there, we get in there, bro. I'm about the big lemonade, the big popcorn. Good. All the time, I don't know he's drinking the lemonade, dog. I pick up the lemonade about 45 minutes in the movie, dog. It's gone. So this dude got the sugar high like a fool, bro. <laughs> on the <laughs> on the way out the movie, dog, he ran around me all the way to the car. Hell no. <laughs> yeah, he all know better than that, man. You got to watch that pop. I mean, that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I done killed the whole thing, bro, in one setting. <laughs> hey, shit, lemonade be good, bro. For sure. For sure. <laughs> Hey, but shit, uh, outside there, I mean, I, I did, I did TV, I did that. I know, I know. Other than that, you probably just been grinding that clock, man. I ain't mad at well, you. Well, you gotta get this money, man. For sure. Christmas, Christmas time. I know. I can dig that. Uh, on my, on my tip, man, I ain't really doing too much, man. It just seems like it's been a long week though, for some, for some reason. I don't know, probably because it snowed like hell the other day, and uh, for the, for the first time, I left off the crib and I was, uh, I was scared to drive like this. I, and, and it ain't because the, the snow is bad, because, you know, we dealt with a lot of snow in Michigan. But it's just that I, the people out here, man, they can't drive, bro. They wasn't prepared. Shit, I'll be prepared. You know? right. We drive that shit all winter long. You know, it's just snow in November, and it's sitting there until April. So, shit, I'm used right. to it. Right. Yeah. But, shit, I, uh, I, 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 kept it, I kept it at the crib on, uh, what, what day was that, Two, Tuesday, I believe it was? Yeah, right. now, I, I, seen a, I seen the news, and it say it's going gonna, it's gonna to snow like all <laughs> Two to four inches or something. I'm like, all right, that ain't nothing. Man, it snowed all day. Ended up being like over ten. You know what? Where the fuck is this? How you tell? How you get from two from ten, dog? Nah, that, who you asking? That's, all That's what I'm saying, dog. I'm just telling and explaining this dude. Like, man, I would like to be a forecaster, bro, because you could be wrong eighty percent of the time, dog, and still keep your job, man. <laughs> That's just crazy, dog. How you get from two to two to ten? Two to ten, dog. It's wrong as hell, bro. I mean, it snowed all day. They were saying it was going to snow, you know, Monday night into uh, Tuesday morning, you know, taper off around, around afternoon time. No, it snowed all motherfucking day. But they were cool. <laughs> but, uh, shit, I, I survived, so we made it back here and made it do the radio show, so I'm excited about that. Uh, then, uh, what was that? Uh, Monday? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Monday, I, I completed, I completed my book. So everything is complete. I got, uh, I got D. Will forward in there, so I shot that off, uh, to get, uh, to get edited and put together and everything. So, should be okay. soon here. So, I, you know, what I'm saying, shout out to my son. Uh, yeah, shout out to my guy. <laughs> so, off the box, volume two will be, uh, be available shortly. Just waiting on it to go through the whole little process. I'm gonna have them on deck. You know what I'm saying? And then, of course, it'll be available online. At www.amazon.com as well as eblockradio.com. But uh, other than that, man, nothing, nothing really much been going on with me. But it, it's been some, it's been some crazy shit going on around around the country. I, I, it's always crazy shit going on around the world, so we won't even uh-huh. do that. Yet. But uh, I, I know earlier you was telling me about uh, about the Wayne State suit, man. So I I had heard I had heard some information about it, but I didn't know it was over a refund check, bro. That's just crazy, dog. That's crazy, dog. Man, I mean, so and then the dude, dude was smart enough to put on a mask, but you in her car, dog. You know what I'm saying? They then she said when she left, she was going to pick your ass up. You know what I'm saying? Like, it is, bro. It is, bro. You take a life. You take a life, bro, for some months. Man, that's bullshit. Right. So this was uh this was her actual boyfriend. Was it the ex? I don't. Know. I, 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 I didn't really get in all the details because I, I tried not to get into the news. It's so depressing, bro. Yeah, the, first four, the first 45 minutes of the other damn thing is depressing as hell, bro. First 15 minutes. I, I agree. I agree with that, shit, man. But I, 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 saw, I saw a couple of things, I think, probably on uh, on Facebook. And then Coco J was telling me about it. And uh, we didn't have all the details, though. So I didn't realize that. That you know it was it was it was like that. Now right. the crazy thing is it is uh it is about that time. So people who people who've been to school, you know, and did the 
and did the refund check thing. You know, it's, it's about that time to get that refund check back from that first semester. But, I mean, the reality of it is, man, is that even if it's just – I can't believe – I well, I hope – I, I don't know. I, I can't even say hope, but I, I'm guessing that this is something that just went wrong. I'm, I'm hoping that his intent wasn't to murder her for a refund check. I mean, I figure if if, if this your girl or something like man, talk her about that shit, bro. Just like you talked about that pussy, man. Talk her about that money, bro. <laughs> I'm serious though. You you don't have to kill her though. Like I don't understand. Like just strong armor or something, dog. Like why you got to kill it? Like, when you know somebody, like, when you in that comfort zone, I don't understand the rationale behind having to kill it. Like, when he goes, how, how big could her fucking refund check have been? Like, for real, obviously he was only, I think you said he was only able to get out, like, $500 out the ATM probably because that was that was probably her daily limit or something. Right. But the refund check, let's say the refund check was five, six, let's say it was $10,000. Like, I, don't, I don't know how much uh, refunds people get now. But even if it's ten thousand dollars, you just kill somebody for ten thousand dollars, bro. Right. That's crazy. Bro. You do that L boy for murder, bro. Man, my life. Ten thousand dollars worth more than ten thousand dollars, bro. Uh, fuck that. Ain't nothing worth my my life in jail instead of saving the, saving the life of a loved one or myself. Right. Shit, right. <laughs> that's the only thing worth taking that L in jail, bro. That's the only thing worth taking that L. Yep. That's crazy. I had no idea it was over a refund check, though. Yeah, that's nuts, bro. She probably would, she probably would go break the nigga off anyway. I guess she just wasn't stupid. Stupid. He probably, she probably wasn't. That's what the problem, the problem was. Probably got angry. She won't give him. She won't give him shit. Right. And know what? At the end of the day, she was. Yeah. That's crazy, though. She was like uh, what, twenty, twenty-two or twenty-three or something. Like twenty-two, twenty-three. Yeah. yeah. Man, that's ridiculous, bro. Didn't get a chance to even live her life, bro. Yeah, that's that. Oh, that's that's sad to say, especially. I mean, you know, I know it sounds cliche, but man, around around the holiday time, like that's the worst, bro. Yeah, like, uh, it's different when somebody passed away, but you get murdered during the holidays, bro. That sucks. Yeah, that, man. Hey, shout out to our family, man. And shit, I, I hope they uh they get my man together. You know what I'm saying? Shit, because whether whether the law get them together or not, man, that's that's. This is another cliche, but this is definitely one that he gonna have to deal with with a higher authority, bro. Right, definitely. Like some shit, I just I just don't understand, bro. It's like he got five hundred off the deal. Now he on the run for the rest of his life. Like this ain't this ain't on the run because you stole something. This on the run because you killed somebody. Like for five hundred dollars, dog. Like five hundred dollars, bro. That's crazy, man. That. Anyway, dog, that's just depressing. I don't even want to talk about this. But the yeah. thing, you know, is is why it it'll take you there. Just like uh, I was watching the news uh, yesterday. I kind of stumbled past CNN, and they was talking about uh, the Freddie Gray trial um, out in Baltimore. So um, apparently there was a mistrial. So you know, nobody there's, there's no sentence or anything in third. Now, uh, just to bring y'all back up to date. On Freddie Gray, this was uh last uh last year or either last year or like the early part of this year. Anyway, they had a uh, you know they had arrested him and basically basically beat his ass to the point where he had like internal shit going on. They threw him in the back of the the uh you know the paddy wagon or whatever, and he died. Like they they never gave him medical attention. He was trying to get medical attention. They never got that for him, and he ended up dying in a custody. So. You know, when it first popped off, you know, they you know, they was probably ready to burn up Baltimore and, and quite honestly, you know, Baltimore had the had the young the young black DA, the the uh the, the chick, uh the, the young DA and she was she was a black lady and she you know, she, she charged them with the murder. And you know what, to be honest with you, they might have just tossed her that. They might have gave her that one. You know what I'm saying? Like in order to for, for the citizens not to burn up Baltimore. Probably knowing that it wasn't going to get nowhere in trial. I mean, I hate to yeah. think like that, but I, well, that's a possibility. Definitely a possibility. Yeah, so that popped off as a mistrial, and I'm not, you know, I'm not real well versed on the law, so I'm not, I'm not even sure how this works. Like, so as a mistrial, like, dude, I, I'm guessing that they at some point get to retry it or something. Like, I, I, I got to get some more information to be clear on that because I'm not sure. 
But um, at this point, it's still it's just it's disheartening, bro. It's like when you think about what you feel like you got all the, the information that they need, and it still just ain't enough. Like what 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 has to be proven? Like you beat this man damn near to death, and then didn't allow. Like, what's more to say? Yeah, what's what is, I don't understand it. I don't understand it, man. <laughs> Right, I, I don't understand either. Even when you in the, even when you in prison, they take you to the infirmary, dog. Like even when you in prison, they take you to get medical attention. So for them to basically just uh, avoid the option of giving him medical attention was was it's it's a criminal act. I thought, like you know, I could be wrong. I I wonder who the because I didn't keep up with this either. I wonder who the fuck was on the jury though. Like yeah, like who was there? So what? Like I don't. How the fuck did that happen? Right. I don't know. But the the more you talk about that shit, man, the the the, the crazier the, the world just seems. And then mm-hmm. this is uh this is something else though. This is way off the subject, but real quick, man, I was watching the History Channel and they was uh they was talking about Hitler. Now you know it's always been a, a theory or uh, even a conspiracy theory, I guess, <laughs> that that Hitler didn't actually kill himself after World War Two. So I. I guess last year they actually opened some FBI files that that they, it don't prove that he didn't kill himself, but it, it proves that that the United States thought that he did that he did fake his death and escape because they 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 track him around the world for like the next three or four years. So like them, it's funny that that they knew that it was a possibility that that he had faked his death and escape. But they just still put that story out there though. Don't you think that's what he was like man? If I if I try to think about if I try to think about bro every time the government try to throw some um, a, a cape over us bro or you know I mean I'd be messed up bro I've been one of them dudes in the cage in a warehouse with newspapers all over the place bro I would be a true conspiracy theorist you know what I'm saying yeah I mean it's just the shit that they found out like you know these are this real shit this is classified FBI you know, records that, that was classified for a while, and then somehow uh, some CIA agent, like, you know, shit, what, 40? It's not, what, damn, it's 60 years later and shit, 70 years later, low key, shit, that was back in 45, so 70 years later, uh, finally got the files reopened. And there's all this shit saying how, how he uh, escaped to uh, Argentina or some shit, and then they had a Argentina dictator there, that basically was, was was the homie, so he was like, you know, he, he hid him out and just, you know, worked it out like that. And still to this day, they never, they, I guess they never uncovered any final remains or whatever. But the the fact is, is that they knew or they had an idea that he didn't die or he escaped, but they never told nobody. Well, I mean, that's good. Is, is that what they, I guess is that what they're supposed to do there, like to to stop us from being scared. I guess, I guess not to alert the people to, you know what I'm saying, I guess. But what, what about this, though? Now, this, this I ran across, um, shout out to my man, Corey Holcomb, dog, you know, the comedian, man. Yeah. He, he funny as shit, and he be keeping it all the way real. He got a radio. All the way 100. Yeah, he got a radio show called uh, 5150 Show. Uh, mm-hmm. So, uh, 5150 be on like, a, uh, what's that, uh, shit, the other shit, uh, Ustream. Okay. But, uh, bro, they be keeping it so 100 on that show that I think it, they they probably will never get to, like, any kind of satellite radio type shit because they keep it too honest. And, you know, it's right. funny because when I watch them, I think about us and shit. I'm like, damn, we be keeping it raw like that and shit. But uh, right. he got a bigger voice because he's a, you know, he a celebrity. But, right. but dog, they showed, a, they showed a clip. Now, I don't know how I missed this, but this was on either CNN or Fox. Fox News, one of the two, and uh, they was talking about, you know, the president, you know, uh, telling people not to be, you know, not to be afraid, like, you know, about terrorism and shit like that, basically to live your normal life and not, not you know, uh, overthink this shit, you know, about terrorism. Dog, so do you know this dude? I, I wish I could remember his name, some kind of political pundit. Dog, he got on the, he got on CNN, this is live, like, worldwide news, man. He said that he said that the president should not be telling people not to be scared. He said, "Shit." He said, "He said, hell, we not scared. We angry." He's like, "And first of all, the president is just a pussy, nigga, right. nigga." 
He said the president is a pussy. I, I look. This is this is CNN or or some shit like. So you 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 can say that. <laughs> like right. I, even all the all the ill thoughts we had about George W. You I couldn't say that. Actually got on like live man, and said like you know face like you a bitch. You can right. say that. like that. That's cool. No, that ain't cool at all. That's why Obama tried to do that little thing where the people were talking talking too much, bro. Like he tried to get at Trump and them type of people. You know what I'm saying? No, the, just the other difference, <coughs> bro. You can, yeah. you can have you can have a difference of opinion, but dude, he just called the president a pussy, like a pussy. Oh, national TV. Can you say pussy on TV? <laughs> National TV, bro. <laughs> you said pussy. I'm like, wow. And then, and then you wonder why, you wonder why we feel the way we feel when, when this is a black man who was in the highest <coughs> of the United States, and he can he can get he can get it like that. So how you think yeah. it's about us? Mm-hmm. Nah, that's that's some crazy shit, bro. Crazy as hell, bro. That shit, that shit took me way off guard though. I'm like, I, I couldn't, uh, I couldn't have way believe that shit though. Like, what, what just happened? Uh, what the fuck? You <laughs> talking about pussy on TV? On national TV, that's nuts, bro. National TV, dog. Hey, anyway, we go, we go get off of that before I get, uh, before I get angry, man. Because it's just, uh, it's just some crazy shit. And then, uh, two, I think that was Tuesday too. Uh, real quick, I just wanna, uh. Throw this in there right quick. I, I guess in L.A. and in New York, it was like some kind of bomb threats at schools and shit. With uh, that shit was gonna be like some backpacks with bombs in them. So I think the people in, in New <laughs> in New York, shit, they sent their kids to school. L.A. Right. said they no shit there. But I guess right, right. I, did, did nothing happen. I think it was some like some kids pranking or something. But man, yeah, it was it, a hoax. But uh, it was a hoax because uh, New York knew off rip. It was a hoax. You know what I'm saying? And um, L.A. 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 didn't. They just Shit yeah. everything down, you know what I'm saying? New York rules yeah. the hoes off the rip. Right. But that's the fuck that situation where where you know you, you think it could happen, so it's just gonna make everything so frantic. Right. Yeah, it's fucked up. But he and called that's it. probably why they ain't tell us about Hitler. Right. Plus plus he was somewhat on the payroll. But that's a whole nother conversation. Yeah. <laughs> that's a whole nother conversation. Anyway, man, if you've been uh if you've been following us on Twitter Follow us on Instagram. Follow us on Facebook, man. We're talking about Christmas. We're trying to get into the holiday spirit, despite how the government do us. <laughs> right. Despite how the news <laughs> make us depressed. <laughs> right. So we want, to talk, we want to talk a little bit about that new boo, man. We want to know how soon, you know what I'm saying, when you go into the crib for for the holidays, how soon is it, you know, or, or when is it too soon to bring that new boo back to dinner? You know what I'm talking about? Guess who's coming to dinner? You feel me? Right. <laughs> Hey, we're going to be back in a couple of minutes, man. You got to pay these bills. Don't forget, if you're on eblockradio.com or if you're on, uh, I was going to say YouTube. We're not on YouTube. Right <laughs> no, no, no. If you're on Blog Talk Radio, you can hit us up, 760-283-4647, man. Hit that number one key and holler at your boy, man. We'll be back in like uh, like two minutes, man. Holler back. Yes, sir. Witness the Black Tie Experience. Black Tie Photography, servicing all of Metro Atlanta area. My name is Cedric Pitts, your photographer. Check out our website at www.blacktiepictures.com or like our Facebook page, facebook.com forward slash black tie pictures. Let me capture your professionalism in class and you will have the ultimate black tie experience. It's your girl, Coco J. And your boy, the hood, Howard Stern. Check out He Say, She Say, a show about love, relationships, and everything in between. And when she says everything in between, she definitely means everything in between. Don't forget to check us out every Sunday at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And check out the replays at www.eblockradio.com. It's your boy, the hood, Howard Stern. It's your girl, Coco J.
Yo, 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 it's your boy, the Hood Howard Stern, Q Lewis, producer of the largest cloud radio show on the planet, straight from the E-Block Radio. Here to let you know that you can represent the radio show and your side of town with our very own t-shirt line, Pardon My East Side. You can get yours. Hi, Hood Howard Stern. What's up with Pardon My West Side? Oh, slow down, Miss Coco J. Of course, we got the West Side cover, too, so you can get Pardon My East Side or Pardon My West Side t-shirts only thing you got to do is go to the website, www.eblockradio.com, and get yours today. $20 for the fellas, $15 for the ladies. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram as well, Pardon My East Side. The livest cloud radio show on the planet, eBlock Radio. Yo, 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 man, we back in the building, man. What's the deal? Happy to be back, of course. Got your boy, man, the hood, Howard Stern, Q Lewis. Got my man money. What up, yes, sir? Yeah, we back back in the building, man. If you uh, if you listening right now on eBlock Radio or on the mobile app or on Blog Talk Radio, make sure you give us a call seven six zero two eight three forty six forty seven and hit that number one key. And uh, don't forget at the end of the show tonight, uh, we got our uh, musical guest uh, Maya Jones, the artist uh, representing Detroit. Uh, got some fly music from her. So uh, shout out to uh, Renee stepping out on faith. Uh, which is where I found the music. So uh, shout out to her, uh, Renee's show on uh, Channel 30. Ha, ah, man, Channel 30. Yeah, what is? Well, 88.3 on the radio, but uh, what's the what's the channel? Oh, Channel 33. Yeah, on Comcast. Channel 33. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. So we back. Uh, we back on deck, man. So if you just now join us, we talking about the holidays, man. I want to know when is it too soon or how soon should you bring a new mate home? You know, for for the holidays. It was holiday season, man. You, you see, you see movies like this all the time. You know, where somebody coming home with the with the new mate that ain't nobody met before, and all hell break loose. Uh, before we before we even jump off in the house soon, I'm just gonna ask you, uh, Mom, you ever been in that situation where you brought you brought the the, the new boo home for for the holidays? Um, no, not not really. Yeah, not really. Um, <laughs> not really. <laughs> no, I mean, I don't know. I don't know how you call it. Like, I, I brought a girl home, you know what I'm saying? And my mama didn't even, you know, <laughs> like her too much. It wasn't no holiday. You know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It wasn't no holiday, you know what I mean? My mama snapped on her, and she snapped at my mama, and I guess she didn't know what kind of breed my mama was coming from. And my mama just get the, went to hell, told her to get out of her house. Pushed her in the back, literally threw her out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Your hey, mom can be a little rough sometimes. Oh yeah, she cut though. You know, I try to explain it to people. You know what I'm saying? But it's hard to explain, dog. You know what I'm saying? She is who she is. She had three boys, dog. She had, it was rough. Yeah, you gotta be ready, man. She she threatened to pull a pistol out on me, so it's it's, it's real. Man, there's real in the field, dog. You know what I'm saying? That's she is, bro. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, I guess it wasn't a holiday, you know what I mean? But it happened to me, though. <laughs> but it wasn't Christmas, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, no holidays of all. But, I, never had, I never had that situation either. I, I'm trying to think, like, maybe back to, like, the college days or something. No, I don't think I ever had that that situation. But, but like, if you if you did, uh, let's say, you you know, you moved away or something or you haven't been home in a while, you know, how, how soon – how soon should you let that happen? Like if you if you just start dating, like what's what's acceptable to bring her to the crib anyway? Well, for, for first of all, I think a rip you supposed to leave you warn people. You know what I'm saying? You know, a lot of people just surprised me, like, hey, dad, I brought this person home. Like, huh? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, what? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, where he sleeping at? <laughs> you feel? You feel? Right. That's that's the you know? first thing that the pops go ask. Uh, yeah, where the hell is he sleeping at? You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, off rip, you know what I'm saying? You got to put it out there. You just can't throw the little surprise on the motherfucker like, whoop, there it is. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> you, can't, you can't do that, bro. So, you got to at least warn them, you know what I'm saying? And then, if they, they'll tell you right off rip if they want you to bring somebody over there. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh-uh, you nigga ain't sleeping here. <laughs> Yeah, that pops off rip and go tell you. Well, you know, you'll find out it's cool. Come on, I want to like to meet your new boo. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, but but uh, people just just 
But want to surprise them like that. It ain't a surprise that you probably like, so you better warn them. That's yeah. why I don't like surprising. Don't surprise <laughs> me, man. Tell me, dog. Don't surprise me. Yeah, no. I was surprised to be what bit. Tell me, dog. Now I was uh I was watching uh shit who I'm trying to remember who was on the show. I it might have been damn, I can't remember it might have been E forty or somebody. I was watching uh Big Boys Neighborhood. You know I watch a lot of I I watch a lot of radio shows trying right. to you know, trying to trying to hone our craft. Right. Uh so I watch a lot of radio shows and I and I I absolutely love the way Big Boy interview. It's, it's always fun because it's like a conversation. It's not like an interview. But right. the funny thing is, uh, his co-host. I can't think of her name, but they be they be clowning her because she says she got a dude, but nobody has ever seen him. So they be clowning because he's like, you know, one day he a basketball player, the next day he a lawyer. He's just too busy to come by the studio. You know what I'm saying? Right. You know, I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm tired. But uh, Mark, her her thing was they was somehow they got into this conversation. Uh, because I think it was right before Thanksgiving. They were saying, like, you know, how how soon should you do it? And she was saying how uh, when they first started dating, they started dating, like, you know, close to Thanksgiving. And she said that, that at first she was, uh, she was a little bit upset when he didn't invite her home for Thanksgiving. So then she was like, you know, after, after I threw a little fit, like a little girl or whatever, then I realized, like, you know, we kind of just started dating. Maybe this isn't the right time. So I was right. thinking, like, you know, so that's when I started thinking, like, you know, really, when when is the right time, and when when should you feel some kind of way if you're not invited to meet right. you know, to for the holidays? My thing is, bro, if we a year in and we in a relationship for real, ain't no damn dating. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. Off well, rip, you supposed to be upset if y'all a year in. You know what I'm saying? And and and, and you you throw hints a hundred times over, and this motherfucker catching the hints, but just Acting like it's going over their head, man. I mean, I'll be, man, I'll be, I'll be mad too, bro. For real, on, on that, t- on that, on that type of shit, and I ain't really care about none of that shit. But I'll be upset, like, damn, you ain't gonna even want me to meet your mom and daddy. What the hell? You don't plan on being with me long? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's the first thing that comes to a person's head. And ah, man, week, two, three weeks, a month, month and a half. Two months? Hell no, man. Yeah. You don't even know if this shit gonna last longer than this. You know what I'm saying? That's like bringing a stranger home. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? So no, hell no, man. Like, I have to be dating you at least six, seven months for you to meet my meet my parents. Yeah. And a lot of these women, they with, with kids. You know what I'm saying? They be yeah. want to do that like shit. I figure like shit. If you met the kid, that's the most important person in your life is the kid. So if they right. meet that the little boy or the little girl, then why not take them over there? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because you already got through that hard part. Yeah, you already got through the hard part. Yeah. You know, little one accept them, so that's the only one you need to be worried about because you don't stay with your parents for long. Yeah, that's true. Now, I think a lot of people, at least you know, when you just think back to the movies and shit, like a lot of people just come home for the holidays for a few days and they just bring home a random, you know what I'm saying? Right. I, think that, I think that if you, it, it is, it's kind of funny, but it is kind of a science to it though. Like when, if you dating somebody and, and it may, it may not, you know, really be nothing then you absolutely don't want to bring them home for the holidays. You don't, you don't even, you have two things. You don't want, you don't want nobody. <laughs> this probably sounds terrible. But you won't want nobody from your family. Cause then they might get the they might get the wrong idea. Like, you know, uh he must he must really wanna get it, get at me. He brought me home for the holidays and that might not be the situation. So it's is. kind of a trick science. So it's like even if you uh you know, for instance, if you you moved away or whatever for and, and it's your first holiday back and you know you met somebody, I if it's the first holiday that came up since y'all been dating, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say no, even if it's been six or seven months. I, if it's the first holiday that that's been came up and and they ain't met no parents or nothing or no family members or, or none of the homies, I'm gonna say it probably ain't a good look, man, to go to bring them to the crib for the for the holidays, man. I, I could be wrong though. I mean, what you think, Mark? I mean, in that certain situation, yeah, I can feel that because, you know what I'm saying, because if, if that's the case, 
you know, I'm dating this chick, you know what I'm saying? She here, you know, with me, you know what I mean? I'm here, all my homies here. So, nigga, yeah. she done met my homies already, you feel me? Yeah. So, I mean, you know, that, that's a different situation, but, I man, I, I feel you on that one, though. Like, you you, you got to, you know, at least give me a one holiday, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Before I even bring you around, for real. Right. Like, I need one holiday out of there, you know, every, every holiday out of the year. Before I even bring you around, you know, my folks, especially if you stick from another state and you plan on coming in with me, yeah, nobody met you. Uh, you know what? I take that back. I did, I did do that shit one time. I do remember. It wasn't like no Christmas or no shit like that, but it was like a random, like a, a Memorial Day or Labor Day or some shit. And I did, I did bring a random to 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 my mama house uh, for a barbecue. And you know what? That, I, I'm just thinking back on shit like that. I should have never done that though, because for one thing, <laughs> the first thing when I brought it over, my my grandma turned her nose up at her and shit, because my grandma didn't like the way she looked and shit. I guess she was she was kind of uh, I guess what old women will say she's kind of fast. But, right, right. <laughs> but uh, also too, I think that bringing her to the barbecue at that one point gave her that false impression, like uh, like damn, he must he must really be trying to fuck with me. The thing right. is. Is that I was at the crib and I was starving and they was barbecuing and I was hungry, so <laughs> I figured I figured I wouldn't be rude because I wanted to eat, so I figured I wouldn't be rude. I just took it with me and shit. Uh, I and I know it's a, it's outside of barbecue, huh? Your grandma turned the nose up. Yeah, my grandma turned the nose up though. You know, when grandma feels some type of way, man. <laughs> Grandma's always think like that when they think the girl too fast. You know, what I'm I was, you know, I was young then. You know, she thought thought the girl was too fast. Oh, yeah. She had, she had a uh, probably probably not enough clothes on. I think that's why my grandma. <laughs> 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 hey, look, all my uncles was like, "Hey, cute. <laughs> good shit, good shit, you boy. Do your thing, boy. Look at you, boy." <laughs> But I just I just think about that experience, and then I think that this is why it, it is it is a science to it though, because in that aspect, like it really wasn't nothing to that. She just happened to be with me, and I just fell through. And I think that sometimes, you know, for women, probably probably dudes too. I think that you can get a false impression that if somebody bring you around to like a family function, that that they trying to pull you in. Right. That wasn't the case at all. I was, I was oh, home. Yeah. Like girls, <laughs> girls were like. Ooh, girl, I met his mama, girl. Exactly. This is a show. Exactly. But what shit up like that? <laughs> right. So I think, right. I think it is a science, man. I probably should just went and got some Mickey D's or some shit, man. But, mm-hmm. yeah. I, Came like, back back at the barbecue later. Yeah, you know, some shit like that. Right. That's right, like, right. Young and dumb, man. You know how it is. Man, you don't be thinking when you're 20. No, you know what I'm saying? You just do it. Like Nike say, just do it. We just do it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, don't forget though if you're on if you're on eblockradio.com or if you're on the eblock radio mobile app or if you're on Blog Talk Radio, <laughs> you can call yeah, the seven two eight three six forty seven and hit that number one key and I'll let your boy man. We want to know how soon should you bring the new the new boo home for the holidays. Now I I've, I've seen where I've seen where. I've had cousins who, uh, I guess, were, uh, I don't know how you want to put it. You know, they was a, uh, they had a lot of women. <laughs> right. So every every holiday, it'd be like a, it'd be a new one. It'd be a different one every holiday. And I think, I think that's bad too, though. I don't know. What I, you mean? I, think that, I think that's bad too because then, I think, but, then, but, I, and I, I just say this because I think then. Your family starts to it, it changes the way your your family. Uh, how I want to say it, I think that I think they they start trying to find people for you because they they start feeling like you're not doing a good job just because you can't never keep one around for the next holiday. So then all of a sudden you got your your mom or your auntie trying to hook you up with the girl at church and shit like that. Like I I think that 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 gives them I think that gives your family too much. Too much leeway too if you keep bringing different randoms around. Like sometimes you just can't bring them. Like you got randoms, just don't bring them. Don't bring them home. 
Hey, you know what? This is it, it, reminding me of um, this Christmas, the movie, where baby girl brought my uh, dude home from college, uh-huh. and they were clowning her and telling her, like, damn, it's another one. What happened to the basketball player? What happened to this? Yeah. Right, right, right. Right, yeah. Right, right. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm saying. And that's eventually what what happened. And then, and then, like I say once, yeah, especially especially for a woman though. A woman bring too many different dudes home. But I think I think on on that end, bro, they just don't want somebody to share that they you know that day with them. You know what I mean? Like if you really if you really like into a person, you know what I mean, and like uh-huh. you know what I'm saying, dating them on the regular, you know what I mean. Sometimes you don't want to just want to be away from them. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, you know, what? Oh, what? Oh. Uh, don't want to be away from him. Uh, Fuck you, man. I'm just saying. Uh, <laughs> you just don't, want, just, don't want to be away from him. I mean, for real. Don't like you already, you already emotional, emotionally attached with him, mother. You been with him, you been with him for like six, six months. You know what I'm saying? Like, damn, damn. You know what I mean? Like, I don't want to be away from him. like through two or three days, two or three. No, no. Mm-hmm. And when I've been seeing this person every day, you know right. what I'm saying? So I mean. And then in them situations, you know what I'm saying, I, I can feel them, you know what I mean? Well, yeah. you know, women, like, you know, a lot of people just ain't good in relationships. They they can say they good, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah, everything good, everything good, everything good, and six months is another one, you know what I mean? And right. my thing is, though, you have to warn people. That's my thing, whole thing about this topic, dog. Warn people, dog, because you don't know how these attitudes going to clash, you know what I'm saying? Like, you bring around family, you know what I mean? You got the crazy uncle, you know, and you try to, you know, like, my uncle, you explain to him how he is, you know what I mean? Don't even trip on him. And then you catch some kind of feelings because my crazy uncle over here going off, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. And I already told you, now you want to get angry. Now, you going to get angry at him. Now, everybody else in the party going to be angry at you because nine times out of ten, they all family. Yeah. So, uh, you you too new to be angry at somebody up here. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? So. In them situations, ah man, gotta wait, man. Warn them, warn them. That's why I say it's, it's a tough thing, man. When you uh, when you first do it, and then and then another question. I, I'm just gonna spin it real quick because we uh we almost out of time. But just like so, just on the reverse of that, like when when like when is it a problem if you if you give the invite and and they don't come? Like you know what? I'm I'm going home for the holidays. Like I want you to come, you know, for Christmas with me. And they say, you know, I I want to I want to stay here and be with my family. When when it, when do you compromise on that? If you just kind of start a date, I mean, you gotta feel them though. You know what I mean? Like, who wanna who don't want to be with their family on the holiday? You know what well, I mean? I mean, well, you didn't want to be away from this person for a second. <laughs> well, I mean, if that's the case, though, like like different different strokes for different folks, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> right. Hey, we go. We go shoot to the phone lines real quick, though. I think that's uh, it's Coco J. I got three one three four five nine. You on live straight from the E Block? How's your boy? What up, though? Hey, what's going on, Colin? What up, though? Oh, nothing much. Uh, I just wanted to chime in on the topic right quick. Um, that's what's up. If if it's when is a good time? Is it when is a good time to bring your uh your mate home? Yeah, when, holidays, when, is it too is it, to, when is it too soon to bring them home for the holidays? Well, you know what? My honest opinion is when we when when you're grown, is and, and and if y'all clicking and then y'all know how that relationship is, and y'all know it's you know it's gonna be something that's gonna be going on for a while, it it, it really doesn't matter to me. I mean, because of y'all grown, and if yeah, and if this is if this if this at some point, you don't know is it's going to be going on for a long time, though. So, like, when is it too soon, I though? Mean, like, I mean, I would say a month. I, I would say a month is too soon. Oh, hell, even probably even a month. Let's say I met you in August. So should I expect? Should I expect to go to your house, your 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 family house that Thanksgiving? Um. <laughs> If you didn't like, you know, I don't know because it all depends on the situation. If you didn't have no family, say for example, you ain't had no family, you had nowhere to go for dinner, I wouldn't mind. Hey, come on, my friend. Hey, because if, hey, even if we I don't, mean, even if it's not, I didn't 
ain't come to y'all house for Thanksgiving. <clears throat> oh, well, no, you didn't come around my family until about, what, a year? Right. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but I'm just right, saying, I was like, for I some... <laughs> Whatever. I was, I'm just speaking in general. I'm not speaking for myself because myself is too. I, you know, you know how I am. It's, I'm not about to have no dude around my kids or my family right away. So, but you know, just mm-hmm. speaking in general for other people, it can be to where they start dating someone and maybe two months, maybe they invite them to if, you know Thanksgiving or whatever holiday is around the corner. You know, uh-huh. if they if they click it like that, then hell. Why not? Two months is so. Two months is too. It is, two but people, but you have to, you have to understand, people do it all the time. Yeah, and, people and they, take drugs all the time. I mean, I want to do it. <laughs> what? I mean, I wouldn't do it, but I'm just saying, people, you know, people. Oh, people yeah, do I, I know, it. I know a particular person that you know. Trust me, I know you wouldn't do it though. Trust me, I know firsthand. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's, Quincy, it's, 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 it's you, you wouldn't want to, huh? Hey, like Quincy, who is Quincy? <laughs> <laughs> they they heard of your they hadn't heard of your name before. They just had never met you, you know, in person. That's all. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, but, the, but some clean it up, clean it up. <laughs> Whatever, <mom. laughs> but for some people. You know, it's some people will do it. it. It happens more than often. It happens very often nowadays. Uh, sad to say, mm-hmm. especially. But it's real sad when they have they have different ones every holiday. That that makes you look bad. So yeah, you know, I agree. That's what I there is. Yeah, for the people who are doing that, you need to they need to slow down a little bit. <laughs> just go home for the no. holiday by your damn self. Or just don't don't bring don't bring them to the to the holiday function. You can you can have as many as you want. Just don't keep bringing all of them to right. the different exactly. holidays. <laughs> right. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. So yeah. All right. All right. Well, thanks all for right, the call, baby. Don't, don't don't forget to check out me and Miss Coco J tomorrow night, six p.m. Eastern Standard Time. He say she say live on your dial. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm I'm lucky to be co-host tomorrow, so I, I'll let her do all the talking about her <laughs> about her stuff. Tomorrow. <laughs> right, yeah. Just just check us out and I'll holler at y'all later. For sure. All right, baby. All right. All right. Yeah, so it is it is some people that just you know, they take it too far, man. It's like I just met this person this morning at the soup kitchen and shit and I am bringing them home for Christmas. <laughs> yeah, so and, just, that, and that's just too soon, dog. Yeah, I, I think a couple months too soon, shit, if you ask me. Uh, yeah. Yeah. But should, uh, it's about that time to get up out of here. Any, any final words about our, about our hot topics today, Mr. Monk Money? Hey, man, warn a motherfucker, man, for real. Just don't pop up with a person because you don't never know how the attitude's going to clash, you know what I'm saying? So my whole thing on this topic, warn somebody. Just don't <laughs> pop him up over there. Are you feel me? Yeah, both parties, though. Warn the person you bring it and, yeah. and the you bring them to. Yeah. Right. Yeah, for sure. I think for me, man, it's a, uh, it's definitely some type of science to it. I think that just like in any relationship, any, anything that you do in a relationship, it is, it is some type of science to it. I, I mean, I guess it's hard to put, I guess it's hard to put a time frame on it because it's different time frames for different people. Uh, but at the same time, a couple months for me, uh, definitely too soon. I figure if I meet you in August, I, I don't, I don't want to meet your family and in, 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 at Thanksgiving. I don't want to come to Thanksgiving. Like it, it's too new. Like I don't. At that point, I feel like I wouldn't even know enough about you to be around your family. Like, right. we're talking about shit, they just, I mean, because when you go to somebody's family house, they going to always be talking about shit that you don't know about anyway. But right. but in two months, I definitely ain't going to know shit they talking about. They might be asking her, like, you know, uh, remember what you, know, what you had did last Thanksgiving? Like, and I don't know what the fuck they talking about. I'm straight. Right. I don't even sit through all right. that. Right. <laughs> so definitely, I think the time limit has to be enough. That you that you feel comfortable knowing enough about that person, which I know is something you always say. Know the person you with. Hell yeah, yeah, got to man. Get to That's know them, man. Time. If you don't know the person you with, or you know, if you don't feel comfortable or or confident rather that you know enough about them, then don't don't go to the house day. Don't go. Right, right. <laughs> just, 
Tell you holler the day after, man. Play the play the side chick role. <laughs> Right, and if you don't got, if you don't have a drawer at that person's house, you definitely ain't coming to motherfucking Thanksgiving. Shout out to the with drawers. Right, right. <laughs> Shout out to with somebody underwear at somebody else's house. <laughs> uh, on that note, man, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, <laughs> hey, we gonna be on. Uh, we're going to be back in the building next week, man, for Christmas Eve, dog. So if you ain't out cooking or doing holiday shopping, make sure you check us out next week at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We're going to have a live show, man. We're going to talk a little bit about some Christmas, some of the greatest Christmas songs. You know what I'm saying? We're going to play a couple. You know, we're going to get all into the festivities for Christmas Eve. You feel me? Yeah, but, it uh, is. As we always do, man, I just want to shout out everybody that checked us out today, everybody that called in, everybody that checked us out on eblockradio.com, everybody who downloaded the mobile app. And uh, we're going to be back next week, man. And as always, shout out and rest in peace to my nigga Buns, man. All right, Pete, my guy. For sure. We up out of here, man. It's your boy, the Hood Howard Stern, Q Lewis. That dude, my money. For sure, man. I got Maya Jones, the artist, coming up right here with the hot new single, Shooter. How's your boy, man? We out. This is Jessica Johnson reporting live at the Detroit Opera House just moments before Woo! Maya Jones. Woo! Woo! Oh, yeah, my God! Stage, you can see the fans are excited. Woo!
the livest cloud radio show on the planet, eBlock Radio.